everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. I'm going to do a relationship reading on John Lloyd Cruz and Bea Alonzo. I have a subscriber that actually donated so everybody can see this reading, which I think is really generous of her. If anybody out there wants to see a reading in particular, email me. I can do the reading. She donated. And she's getting her reading and she's doing it for all of you out there. All right. So thank her below in the comments for this reading because I think that's really gener generous of her. Okay. So a little bit about myself. I'm a clairsentient, clairvoyant. If you are new to my channel, what that means is that I can feel what other people feel. I can pick up emotions um, and I see images in my mind. Okay. All right. If you're interested in a private reading, email me. I will leave my email at the bottom of the video and I'll get back to you within 24 hours and um, have the reading out within five days. Readings are not free. All right. Private readings um, do cost money. So all the information, when you email me, I'll send you all the information. Okay. So Bia, that's how you pronounce her name. That's what my subscriber said. It's Bia. So not B, because I, I used to call her B. Okay. So, all right. He's a nice looking man. Um, they are the biggest love team in the Philippines and fans are wondering if they were together now. Are they in love with each other? Bia recently said she is in love with John Lloyd. She's always in love with him. Does he feel the same way? They are always in a different relationships before. Maybe they are scared to break their friendship. They are a love team since 2002 and ever since then they said they never dated. But now 2020 they are both single. They are always together since lockdown. Bia was always there for John Lloyd's fans. John Lloyd fans are wondering if they are together. If they are, is there a chance of them getting married? All right, so... I see, you know what, when like, when I see the two of them together and the vibe that I get is that they are um, dear friends, really dear friends. They've known each other for a, like you said, like she said, a very long time. I feel like they have good working relationships and they can exist together well. It's like two good friends, two like I get dear friends. So I don't feel that there is that romantic relationship between the two of them. And I know you guys are probably disappointed to hear that. But I, I'm looking at their picture and I feel it's like two best friends. Spending time together, doing things together, enjoying each other's company. But I mean, okay, she said she's in love with him. I mean, she might love him, but I don't know. I, I don't get in love. I don't. I really feel that the two of them are just good, dear friends, like best friends, best friends who do everything together, including being in um, uh, lockdown together. Yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, there was a hot item in the Philippines about John Lloyd Cruz and Bia Alonso. Yeah. That's, uh, nah, I don't think they're together. Yeah, again, I just, I feel like two dear friends that like to spend time together. I don't, I don't, I don't feel there's anything more than that. I'll be surprised if there is. Yeah, it's like they look after each other, they look after one another, um, and there are people out there that can be friends, best friends, male and female, and just be platonic. Yeah. That's what I get. Let me see what the cards say. Um, all right, let me get out a deck. Okay. Let's see what the energies are between John and Bia. What are the energies between John and Bia? What are the 
the energies between John and Bia. They kind of remind me like of an old married couple. You know, without the sex, it's like they get along well together. They know each other. They're, they're good friends. That's what I get. John and Bia. So the way I do my card readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and shuffle till one card falls out again. That's how I do my readings. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. Those are the only ones that I read. What are the energies between John and Bia? John and Bia. Okay, so it's just hanging there. I don't think there's any movement forward. There's the hangman. That is about, um, uh, this is a non-action card. The hangman is about, it's about wisdom, self-sacrifice, trying to get a unique perspective on things. I'm just going to go to my book and see. So this is about, it's about time, suspension, waiting, transition, protection, reversal, sacrifice, it, it, this card reveals waiting for a decision or change in circumstance. He also invites you to take a different view of the situation as you could find an ingenious solution. What's the different view of the situation? From uh, what we can see, it looks like there might be something going on. But I don't think that there is. And I believe that the way they feel each about each other, they're taking a different view of this situation about their relationship. Are they both working on it? Yes, there's the Eight of Pentacles. This is about working on something. Um, I, it's, it's a great partnership, but not love, I don't feel. This is about... It's about a phase of something being over. Maybe a working phase. I don't know if they're working right now. Like, yes, we're all in lockdown. But this is about that um, they still perhaps are working together in some way. Maybe working on the relationship still. Just their friendship. All right. They love each other's company. They really do. I just don't feel like there's anything more than that. And then we have the world card. This is about completing a goal, life, or lesson. The world card speaks about uh, success, rewards, um, in relationships and families, love flourishes and, flourishes and brings you joy. So I think it flourishes between them. Okay, but again, I don't feel that this is a romantic love. This is about, um, and they have joy, spending time together. Okay. Let's see what the future messages are. What are the future messages regarding John and Bia? Future messages regarding John and Bia. I mean, they make a nice couple. Like they're 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 a really nice couple. I just I just get best friends, really good friends. I don't think they're gonna get married. No. They're there to support one one another. Future messages regarding John and Bea. Future messages regarding John and Bea.
future messages regarding John and Mia. All right, so what are the future messages? I have the very first card, which is justice. This is about balance. Um, the relationship in the future will still be balanced. Um, it improves, this card talks about improved finances. It's about justice, action, decisions, clarity, perception, balance. So I feel that this relationship in the, in the future will still be balanced. And it'll be, you can see here the balancing scales, they're balanced. So the relationship is very balanced right now and I feel it's going to be the same in the future. Then we have the Six of Wands which talks about victory, the six of wands. So the, the, the relationship will still be victorious. It'll, it'll move forward. I mean, like they've been together since, working together since 2002. Two, that's 18 years. They've known each other. All right, so the, eight, the six of spears talks about success, acknowledgement, self-confidence. Um, this card shows self-confidence and in relationships feeling high on love. But I don't feel like it's the same kind of love. They've known each other 18 years. And I know this, this um, subscriber says that, um, I need to break. The subscriber says that, you know, either he was single or she was single or, you know, one person was always, always in a relationship. Yeah, but 18 years, I believe that they're just, it's successful and it'll keep being successful the way it is. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is a, a, someone who's very reliable, patient, hardworking. The Knight of Pentacles speaks about, I think the relationship will just be that. Um, uh, they're there for each other. The loyalty. The card represents long-term growth and commitment to a goal. Okay, loyalty, investments, um, they are dedicated, loyal, and steadfast in the relationship. There is nothing here that came up like if it was Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Lovers, Two of Cups, then I would feel that there is something going on between them. But this is more a relationship that I feel is just best friends, people that get along really well together, um, and are there to support each other. Okay. All right. There you go. That is the reading on John and Bea. And if anybody wants to get any special readings on their celebrities, make a donation. I will leave my PayPal in the comment section and I can fulfill your request. All right. Thanks for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing, commenting. I truly appreciate it. And go ahead and share this out on Twitter and Instagram or wherever you want to. So, all right. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the reading. Bye-bye.